Shalom, Israel, Shalom. We back. That's part two of the Day of Atonement video. Conf confess your sins. Pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. Ask for mercy. Okay, ask for forgiveness for your iniquities. All right. So it's gonna be real quick. We're gonna hit this real quick. Leviticus chapter 26. And we're gonna read all the way down to verse from verse 40 all the way to verse 42. Okay, and it reads, if they shall confess their iniquity, because we a hey, we have done wickedness, man. Okay, before we came in this truth, we were some wicked individuals. Okay. If they should confess their sins to like you. If they should confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers, as I said earlier, we are our forefathers coming back in reincarnation. Okay? And we don't know what we did in our past life, but we still have to pray and ask for forgiveness for this life and in our past life. Alright? With their trespass, which they trespass against me and that also they have walked contrary unto me verse 41 and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies okay wherever east uh wherever Israelites were scattered at man that's that's the land of our enemies Okay, because our homeland is Israel, man. All right, and we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in the land of our enemies because of our wickedness, man. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humble, your mind, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. Because being here in the captivity in the land of America, you know, this is our punishment, man. Going through everything we're going through, being at the bottom, all right? And we the people of the Lord. But this is our punishment for going against the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Not keeping the covenant, right? We broke the covenant. That agreement that we made with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to keep his ways. Okay? Verse 42. Then will I remember my covenant, that agreement, right? With Jacob, who is Jacob? The Israelites. Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel, is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. And we believe through faith that we are the descendants of Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's the chosen bloodline right there, okay? And also my covenant with Isaac. And also my covenant with Abraham. That's the chosen bloodline. Okay? Because Abraham, when it, well, Abraham, Isaac, not Isaac, uh, Abraham uh, had uh, Ishmael. He had Isaac, but he had Ishmael, right? Ishmael, Isaac. Okay? But who was the chosen? Isaac. Isaac had Jacob and Esau. Who's the chosen? Jacob. Because <laughs> it's the chosen bloodline, man. Alright? And also my covenant with Abraham will I remember. And I will remember the land. Okay? The descendants, man. The people of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah who are the Israelites. Okay? So... We must confess our sins, all right? And that's and that's a blessing, man. People get talking about they getting money and cars and clothes and all this other boy. That's a blessing. Oh, I just hit for a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. That's a blessing. Thank you, God. No, man. No, man. This is the true blessing, man. Being able to have this truth and being able to have a chance to repent and turn back to the heavenly Father, so we won't be destroyed. When his only begotten son, Yahweh shall return on this planet Earth to destroy this wicked ass kingdom, man. 
so we can have a chance to be beamed up into the chariots to be safely out the way of destruction, out of those, out the way of those thermonuclear missiles, man. That's the real blessing. All right. Yeah, man. So you know, you have to confess your sins, man. No matter what you've done, man. And the things I have done, I hated the things I have done, man. I was in the streets, man. Like, <laughs> I could I could write a book on how I was living, man. My my life been like was a movie. Like my life was a movie, man. Like a, a a street that street nigga mentality type of movie, man. Like I was heavy in that shit, man. And looking back at that shit, man. I'm surprised I ain't even survived because I did get shot up. Okay, because I was I was living wrong. And that was the way, that was the Heavenly Father way of whooping me. Okay? And even then, after that, I was still in the streets. I didn't learn. Had a hard ass head, man. And then after that, jail, 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 in and out. Things, I'm just losing things. Losing my car. I just, I ended up stop making money from in the streets. Uh, and I became homeless. So the Heavenly Father was stripping all those things from me, man. He humbled me. And I'm, I'm trying to rap. Like I gotta, I'm telling my boy, I, mean, I gotta do something. I gotta rap. I gotta, I gotta make some money, man. I gotta, I gotta take care of my family and all that. Till one day I just sat down and looked like, and I realized everything just got taken away from me. Cause I knew all the truth. I used to watch the truth, smoke weed, you know, and all that. But I was still the same. I was, you know, I was trying to kick the habit. And I just told myself, man, all this happening because I'm living wrong, man. And, you know, you got to pray until y'all will buy y'all shot to forgive you. And then that's when I, you know, instead of putting one foot in the truth, I put both, you know. And... You know, it took some time. It still took a little bit of time, but I was serious. You know, uh, gave me a garment, got me a Bible, got me, got me the Apocrypha. You know, I was serious about it, man. You know, got I had got me books, got like ten books, and then it was taking notes. You know, you know, and I, and I was watching all type of different Israelite groups, man. You know, but I, I ran into the Lord had me stumble onto GMS, and ever since. I haven't, I haven't, you know, learned, or I haven't, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Ever since I ran into GMS, I've been stuck on GMS. Been stuck on, the, and, I, and I can tell that the teachings that the apostles and elders on down, the teachings that they teach is the 100% truth, man. And I can feel it, okay? I can feel it, man. You can't be listening to this group and listen to this group and listen to that group. You're going to get confused. And that's what the apostles and elders of Great Millstone call a blended Israelite, man. You're all blended. With all this, they saying one thing. They saying the mark of the beast is not the RFID microchip. Then they saying the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. And then you don't know who, like, who's telling the truth because you, you, you listening to both. You need to pick a group that you believe telling the truth and i tell you personally gms has got the 100 percent truth and you need to stick with the with the group you learning from man okay i advise you to learn from gms you know you know 100 percent truth the, the, the the great man i learned from all right and still learning from all right so yeah man you know I ain't gonna, you know, keep ranting, keep, you know, keep this thing going. Uh, yeah, Day of Atonement, confess your sins, um, you know, because the Lord, you know, he, he ain't go, he ain't dealing with no sinners, man. He ain't dealing with nobody that's on on wicked on wicked time. He on he he dealing with those who's on righteous time, who's striving to be righteous, who believe in His word. Who seek his his kingdom, okay? A righteous kingdom, okay? So, you know, 
It's a blessing. We got the we got the uh a chance to repent. So hey, repent. And I, I'm keep it straight up. Either you're gonna repent or you're gonna die. Simple as that. Repent or die. Now America tell you to vote or die. Back in the day when, when Puff, Puff Daddy P. Diddy was pushing that bullshit, vote or die. Like, come on, man. But this, what I'm saying is real. Repent or die. Because if you don't repent and turn back to Yahweh Ba'a Shemi Yahweh Shai, then you're going to perish with America. This place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. So repent or die, man. You know. And if you don't want to die, then hey, repent. And keep the and keep the word of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah to the best of your ability so that you may be saved, man. Yahweh willing. If you're a true believer, if you're a true worshiper. Okay, but yeah, confess your sins. And don't just do it for this day, man. Do it every day. Much as you can. Alright? Do it every day, man. Because we need that mercy from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. So with that being said, uh I'm in it off with that. You know, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Karkadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide and sincerity, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing, Shalom.